Oh, well, let me focus my camera. All right, what's going on, guys? I know I suck at these vlogs, bro. I know y'all been like, damn, man, Ty, it's been like five months since you released the video. But you know what? That's my apologies, guys. You know, I'm a very... Sometimes I get too emotional with this car, bro. Like, I'm explaining everything that's been going on since the last video I dropped. I had to go on YouTube and, and uh, watch my last vlog, which was like four and a half months ago. And hold on a second, let me sit in the car. Yeah, so I had to, I had to go on YouTube and and uh, see where I left off at. So, so basically, since the last time y'all seen me, you know, I took the car for a little spin after I got the car running. Um, I got the car tuned by Cunha at CLM in April after I got back from Jamaica. Um, the car made uh, 570 horsepower on pump 93 and then it made 800 on the dot on E85 that was with the um, that was with 29 pounds of boost But the last minute before I tuned, the day before I tuned, I swapped out my um, Precision 6466 and I threw in a 6870. And uh, let me tell you, man, that 6870 is a beast. Like, that thing up top is a monster. That's a killer street turbo, bro, for real. I like that turbo. Um, I didn't really feel that much lag, of a, like that difference in the lag between the 64, 66 and the 6870. So that was a plus for me, man, you know what I mean? So. Um, I started running into overheating issues. Um, this is this is an issue that I've had since the day I turned the car on. The car was always overheating. It was always building pressure in the cooling system, you know. So after the tune, there was there was cooling all over the place, but we still we still sent this bitch. So after the tune, um, I decided to take the car to um, a brew built. My boy Ash, he t he tore the motor apart. And, you know, come to find out, you know, I had a bad head gasket the whole time. So I guess the car was overheating from me doing dumb shit from when I first got the car running, um, driving around, not getting it tuned, you know what I'm saying? Not having a dash to see what's, what the um, what the vitals are of the car, the, the temperatures and whatnot. So that was my fault. So we took the head off. We, um, we put a new head gasket. And we got the car running again. And then a few days later, the freaking car overheats again i'm like yo what the f so we so i take the car back to him like two weeks later um he takes the head off this time i told him like yo yo ash yo i feel like it's the block guard let's take the block guard out we take the block guard out throw another head gasket in even though the head gasket was fine we threw a new head gasket in put the motor together and as he was letting the car idle oh, it's a little hot in here as he was letting the car idle the car went up to 220 degrees just sitting there. And he was like, yo, this is not right. So, um, what happened next? So after that, he took, he actually, he's like, yo, this. Let me get the th um, the, the infrared gun that tells you the, um, the temperature. He takes that and he, he, um, he aims it at the, uh, uh, the coolant temperature sensor right on the head there was a 40 degree difference from the gun and what it was actually reading on the dash so i took the car to cunha cunha had to um adjust the um what was that called cunha had to adjust the temperature table from aem because they had it all screwed up so it took them a few days to to do some research and we um we got the temperature to read correctly now you know what i mean so it was instead of reading 220 it read like 185 so we got that fixed so i'm, I'm going home I go home and I'm like, yo, this car's overheating again. So now I don't know what the issue is now, man. I don't know if I have a, a cracked, a cracked block, a cracked head. I don't know. So I'm just enjoying the car for what it is for now. I know it's pushing cooling out, but I'm just, I'm just enjoying it. I'm most likely going to take all the internals out and put into another motor just to rule out anything cracked, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, I guess today I could do a, like a little drive around. You know what I'm saying? A little drive around. I'm gonna drive around and show you guys how it is to drive with a PPG and whatnot. 
it's not so bad. People used to tell me, oh, don't do it with a PPG, it's hard. And uh, I've been driving around for months, man, and it's really not that bad, so come with me. All right, guys, so let me show you. I'm gonna show you the car again. Uh, ain't nothing much changed, but it does look a, a, a lot more hideous. So, hold on one second. Let me turn the car on, actually. Gas. Get the car some gas. Alright. You see the flex content is uh E82. So we've been getting some good ethanol content in Jersey, y'all. Go to the one in East Orange. Now y'all can see how bad it is. Y'all see the coolant? getting all over the place. A little coolant spraying all over the place, guys. Like I said, I've been having a bad luck with this car with the coolant issues, bro. So what happens is it's building too much pressure and the only part that's open in the coolant system is the reservoir. I made this little hole right here and that's where the coolant spits out of. So I've been having bad luck with um, coolant issues, but like I said, I'm, I'm probably going to most likely, I'm gonna take all the internals out this long block and I'm gonna put it into another one, man. Just to rule out anything cracked, man. I feel like there's something wrong with this engine and it's been haunting me all year around, so. But yeah, this is the engine right here. All right, so we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna set the camera up in the car. We're just gonna go for a little drive and I'm gonna show you how the transmission feels and whatnot, so stay tuned, all right? All right, guys, let's start, let's start driving. Let's drive this bad boy around. <sighs> so I want to debunk the myth of you can't drive a dog box, straight cut that is. It's really not that bad. You hold the clutch down for a second, Put it in first gear. Not that bad. Second. Third. Fourth. It's not so bad. is um, downshift. When you downshift, you gotta rev match it. Otherwise, if you don't rev match it, you're gonna, the dogs are gonna bounce off each other. And you don't really like that. I don't really like that, so. It doesn't feel so bad. So I'm about to downshift. We gotta, I step on the clutch real quick, hit the gas, put it in a second. It's not that bad. So when I come to a stop, if I'm like at two or three miles, I could just step on the clutch, throw it in first, and nothing happens. Ooh, man, it's hot. I feel like a microwave in here. I feel like a piece of sushi.
was only able to get like a little pass before the car started overheating. But um, enjoy these last few clips from prior pulls on the highway. You know, when I first got the car back on the road. But these clips are from a, from a couple weeks ago. Some are from a couple months. But enjoy those. try to keep it you know just so i can interact with you guys and have a little bit of fun with it all right so i'll catch y'all later make sure you guys like hit that like button and um subscribe peace i, I am ty boogie